official standings still show Suzanne LaFrance maintaining a slight lead of 36% to incumbent Mayor Dave Bronson's 35%. And what those final numbers do not include are more than 1,000 rejected ballots. Warren Maxwell was at the election center today as officials debated what should stay and what should go. Well, Rebecca, it's called the public session of Canvas, and it's done every election. The city's election commission goes through all of the votes that election workers say should be rejected, and they decide if any of them should count. Now, of the roughly 73,000 ballots that were returned, election workers recommended 1,091 be rejected. And actually, those numbers are lower than they've been in recent years. The Election Commission agreed that all but four of those ballots should be tossed out. One of the biggest issues are signatures that don't match what the state has on file. Commission member Mead Treadwell says he has faith in the election results, but he's concerned with the number of votes that won't count. All told, today we rejected 1,087 votes. I would say that almost all of them were legitimate. A couple of them were probably voted by people for their kids away at college. That's illegal. Uh, so those were rejected. But uh, others uh, were rejected, unfortunately, just simply because people filled it out wrong. The city says the 602 people whose ballots will not count because of signature issues were sent letters and given several ways to fix the problem, but that none of them responded. And Lauren, what are some of the other issues that caused those ballots to be rejected? Well, you know, the biggest one after signature issues were ballots that were postmarked after Election Day. 269 ballots rejected because of that. It's the reason the city says if you're going to mail it close to the deadline, you have to go inside and get your ballot envelope stamped by hand to make sure that it counts.